Matthew 26, 3 is a great example of why scholarship is having to rethink its long-held beliefs about the nature of the passive and deponent forms. Let's take a look at it. In Matthew 26, 3, it reads, Then the priests and the elders of the people, soon atheisen, that's the form we're going to talk about, gathered into the palace of the priest, the high priest, the one who is called Caiaphas. Okay, let's talk about this. Sunethesen is what? Parse it. Well, you can see it down below, can't you, in the details. Yeah, it is an aorist passive. So why did we translate it as an active? Well, you might think maybe it's a deponent form. When you go over to BDAG, though, you'll notice sunexo, sunexa, sunexai, sunegagon, Here's a future passive, first heiress, passive, perfect. What do you see? You see that it's not a deponent verb. It's not a deponent verb in any of its tenses. And so if you were being a typical first-year translator, you would say, then the ruling priests and the elders of the people were gathered. In other words, there's an agency that is gathering them together were gathered in the palace of the high priest who was called Caiaphas. The problem is this happens over and over and over again, and there is no agency, especially with this particular verb. It simply means, in the aorist passive, that people got together. Well, with the old way of thinking, which, which could be right, by the way, just because it's old doesn't make it wrong, but in the old way of thinking, this could be called a causative aorist, a causative passive, meaning that something caused them to gather. And so you might be able to figure out that there's something about the events of the day that were causing them to gather together. But what we're thinking about now is that when you have these theta eta forms, that while they tend to be passive, it could be that the theta eta form is just another form of the sigma alpha, what we call the eris middle. Now, eris middles tend to be active in meaning. Eris passives tend to be passive in meaning. But it certainly is possible that theta eta forms are actually middle in meaning, even though it's theta eta. In other words, the nice distinction we've all been taught between sigma alpha forms eris middle, and theta eta forms, eris passive, that really they're two different ways of expressing the same idea. But with sunago, almost always when you hit these eris passive forms morphologically, you're going to end up translating them as actives. And don't try to go find some agent, some uh, kind of secretive agent that's causing this to happen. It just has this simple active meaning. So much fun.